How do you feel sleeping in the the Alphard? Not too bad actually. Yeah, we had nowhere to sleep last night, so we slept in here. Day three of our journey was 86 Festival. We woke up in Izumi and uh, brushed our teeth in the like public toilet. I'm six foot two and I had to sleep like across the way in the middle aisle and yeah it was a little bit cramped and then I had Ruben from the front passenger seat kind of over me if that makes sense and then Neil was even more squashed in the back so we were kind of me and Neil parallel and Ruben this way. Got breakfast. We got breakfast in Family Mart. And just in case you wonder, do mad crazy cars pull up everywhere? Yeah, they do. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty early. It's like eight o'clock in the morning, and um, we're with Rob, oh, yeah. Slippery 86, in his green two-door Truno, and we're going to go to Hachiroku Festival in Okayama. Well, GT86. He's got the custom 86 license plate. Cool, man. This thing is totally impractical for driving. Very much so. <laughs> You're looking forward to it. Mm. Yeah. Got the one seat, the polycarbonate windows. It was fixed, was it? You couldn't actually move them up or down. All right, that's great. <laughs> it's just like weathered. Little, like, yeah. The chrome sticker there from when it used to have the fucking. I love that it's just burnt into the paint. Like, yeah. you probably see it has Goodline and then Advan, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's been sunburnt into the paint. Yeah, this thing has some pretty cool history. It's like a archaeologist dig here. It was a famous car years ago, Car Factory Zenit. It's like an artifact from like 2003 or four. that amazing style, all good line and stuff. You can see all the stickers on the front of it. Yeah, he was going to lead the way. So the plan was to go to uh, Okayama 86 Festival, which is just strictly A86s. There's one in Fuji, which is 86 with BRZ, but uh, we were keen to get to Okayama Festival because that's where they put the best 86 display on. Like it's just strictly the 86 and 85 chassis. We had our nice air conditioned vehicle and Rob was beside us in his 86 with a towel on his head and absolutely sweating. I was jealous he was driving that car, but I definitely wasn't jealous of uh, missing out on the, the air conditioning. Yeah, halfway up then we pulled in at a we pulled in at a parking area, a rest stop, and then he said to Neil, "Hey, do you want to drive the 86?" And uh, Neil was panicking, <laughs> but very happy at the same time. Uh, What's going on? What? What's going on? Uh, your first driving time this in Japan. Your first time driving, first time in, driving Japan. in Japan. Yeah. I got fucked in the deep end in, in a in a green ignorant machine. Oh, this is green. It's a bit more agricultural. Okay, see ya. All the best. Oh. Hey, Neil. Yeah. Open the door. Oh, you can't open the door. <laughs> you can. You have to get out though. Nah. There's an inside way. Oh. <laughs> You're a mess. What's that? Turn the, turn this one the other way. Don't worry, hang on. I don't know, just to see Neil sitting in the 86, absolutely having heart palpitations, sweating, excited, nervous. It was just a, it was just overwhelming for him, but so funny for us.
Rob was just sitting in the front and he was just like, uh, <laughs> I just gave him the 86 cause it's fucking roasting. It was like 35 degrees. We had aircon, he was happy, but in reality, he wanted to gift Neil this experience of driving an 86 to 86 festival in Japan. Everybody accelerate to check engine like this. Scared the shit out of me. I was like, oh man, it's out to this now. I was just like, ah, I could do this now for fucking 10 more hours. I was just like, yeah. If you're driving up, you're on, I don't care. I'm, I'm loving the echo on the fucking country ride. I'll keep talking about it. I'm right. fucking smiling away at it. And just I don't know, it was just so funny and just this weird, uh, amazing feeling. Our first adventure and like, I don't know, we almost get butterflies, it's just... The noise is ridiculous! I love this car! The rev and the sound, it was just stripped out horrible, like just like the worst thing ever to be driving along in like 30 something degrees, plexi windows, like just, I didn't give a shit, I was having the time of my life, the lads were chilling in the, the Alphard with the aircon, cool as a breeze, but uh, yeah that was definitely probably one of the highlights of the trip for me. That car is everything I like about an 86, it's got history, it's uh, from the cool era of interesting style with all the good line bits and um, yeah it's an ex like competition car that he somehow has on the road but wow you couldn't take the smile off my face driving that car to 86 fest so, like three days in and the trip had already peaked for me like it was absolutely unbelievable and then we got onto these twisty back roads and I don't know, Neil was driving like a little shithead up, up these back roads and bop, bop, bop. It was just brilliant to see. But just to be behind an 86 in Japan on twisty roads, really windy, twisty roads is cool anyway. But just to try and trans transplant our brains into Neil's head, I was like, he's having the fucking best day ever. What an experience. So that was a great start to our day 86 day, which was gonna turn out to be the most amazing day. We headed in for 86 Fest. We were at Okayama Circuit. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, I guess. It's in this surround of jungle, parked off to the side and immediately then like Everywhere you go, your 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 car park scanning. You know, your look at this. Look, it, it actually took us like probably kind of half an hour to actually get into the place because we're literally looking at every single car. Look at this. Look at the wheels on this car.
these cars you see on the internet all variations configurations wheels like every single thing you could ever do was there n2 cars initial d cars street cars grip cars drift cars oh my god for a, an 86 enthusiast i mean we have 86 festival in ireland and it's pretty cool but i don't know this was too much for me like neil was already overwhelmed from driving the car up the road then we realized the volume of cars that were there I was overwhelmed, so Neil was basically having a panic attack. I started sweating. I, I had to like come back three times to just like start processing it. And it's scary when you're making a video because you're trying to enjoy it. But then you're like, I need to document this. And the N2 racing is on, but you're trying to take pictures of the the, the show and shine display area. And then there's a there's in the pits with all the race cars. And these are all these cars I've looked at for uh, like 15 years on the internet. And suddenly they're all here at the same time. Just everything's at the, just all at the same time. Like here you go. Yeah. I'm not a big, massive 86 enthusiast, but just to be there and experience this was 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 just something on another level. And to see the only kind of 86 stuff that I really wanted to see was for a long time was N2 racing, and that was going on. And I just had my head out the pit wall and just watching these cars going past, and I was like, "This is just great!" Like, yeah, that was a that was one of the greatest days of my life. I would say, without being corny, just it was on the list for years.
take it all in, man. I'm trying to, because every single thing here is something that I would save on the internet and go, ooh, that's nice. That's everything. Just like, the trip has peaked at the start for me. It's just like, ah, bollocks. Too much to take in. Anywhere you look was a picture. I was actually getting a headache, like the front of my head was like trying to process it, like around the temples was bananas. It's hard to even describe it to be honest, you know, for someone that's wanted to see that for so long. We went over this, we went over a bridge and straight into this small car park and some of the coolest cars I've ever seen were in this car park, like you would, like it's an 8.6 day, but there was NSX, RX-7, Civics. The thing that stood out for me most that day was this like candy apple red Decatur truck with a matching FD RX-7 on the back. This is fucking ridiculous. This is the most Japanese thing I've ever seen. Ah, oh, man, my fucking head. I'll never forget Neil's face, like, looking at me, and I'm looking at him going, can you fucking see? I actually wish Ruben saw this. Like, it was unbelievable. Oh, my God, man. The reg, this reg has got its own box. Oh, my goodness. That makes it even cooler. There's a man and his penis just having a good time on the side of the door like you imagine having that truck in ireland or england or wherever like you've the most attention grabbing truck ever and it has a dick on the side of it like it's just it's just japan parade lap at the end where we all drove around and like there was hundreds of 86s it's such a cool scene there's something about the 86 community in japan they're all really cool and relaxed and everyone is just having fun and there's no real it didn't really seem as any egos are at there.
happened to me is I yeah, we're just on the floor here. sitting in with Rob on the floor and it was raining and everyone was uh, beeping and waving at each other. I climbed out and looked back and the greatest view of, like I've ever seen, it was just... had this lovely zen moment when we were leaving um we kind of got the rain was so heavy that we we couldn't actually get back to the car immediately so we kind of stopped where to, the roof kind of ended we were kind of just stuck there and i remember just standing and looking out and the backdrop was literally a car park with the remaining corollas the, the ground was absolutely sopping wet and the reflection from the sun and the mountains and everything and i just stood there it's, it's just one of the nicest things I've, I've ever i've ever seen in my whole life like it was just i was just gone for a couple of minutes in my own head because i was just enjoying this this moment Custom singular headlight. This thing has no headlights, so you make do where you can. Do we have what? Yes. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I remember turning to flip and just being like, I, I don't know what to do here. Like everything's a video, everything's a feature. Everything there was worthy of its own video. Like it's hard to go to an event like that and try and take it all in when you know you only have a few hours to do it. And every single car on it was the coolest car ever. It was something I'd save on the internet and put in a folder. It was, it was too much. Like dare I say that without sounding like, you know, someone that didn't appreciate it. I couldn't appreciate a lot of it. It's only because we're making this video and I, I'm lucky that I have cameras and we shot photos and the lads were taking pictures also. Like I went back through this footage when we were making this and there's so many things I forgot about because it was just a blur. Like the whole thing just was a complete blur. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so into the 8.6 or whatever, but that chassis and then seeing that many of them at the same time was like completely just, yeah. If you like 8.6s, you need to go to 8.6 Festival in Japan. We have one in Ireland and it's amazing and I'm very fortunate that we have a a great scene here for 86 is in Ireland, but Japan is the, the birthplace of the 86 and they still do it best and it's the greatest 
It's the greatest 86 event I've ever been to in my life. And yes, please enjoy. Serious. Wow. At the end of the day, up in the middle, we were just parked up the top in the car park. There was no cars left, and out of nowhere, this bloody black limited with Lambo doors, which sounds sacrilegious, pulled up with the. Uh, I think your man was just loading it up, but just one of them trucks that the back loads off onto the ground. But it was just the coolest thing ever, and it was pissing rain, and I don't know that that was. That was one of the coolest things I've seen on the whole trip, was just that car, look. Like. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Thank you. 